don't know how long this video is going to take, but it's going to be the most prolifically profound thing that I've recorded ever in my life. I'm going to show you all how to make my tomato sauce. Olive oil, hot pan. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to spoon some garlic, or in this case, fork some garlic. And you can use fresh garlic. I don't have any, which is why I'm not. Give it a bit. Who doesn't like garlic? Uh, oh, that's a bad spatula. Oh, God. I swear I'll put it away later. Right. Now, what's going into this pan other than garlic? This. This is four uncased Premio hot sausages. And I always use hot sausages. Lower that down. Now I'm basically going to get that in there before the garlic starts burning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The goal here is to break it down into small little cooked, you know, nickel sized chunks. Which with, for some reason, Sausages is a goddamn nightmare. I'm also going to add, when I get a little moisture out of them, fennel seed. Because there's fennel seeds in sausages, but they never use enough. My uncle taught me that. So let's sprinkle some of these. Mm. And because I'm a sadist, Black red pepper onto my hot sausages. Bam. Sadism mod complete. If you see the garlic is burning, or you see the fennel seeds are burning, or anything else is burning, just keep stirring. Right. This is going to be a multi edit one because this takes hours to do. Well, actually, a couple steps. Then you let it sit. It's 246. I don't expect to be eating this before 8. Eight or nine o'clock tonight. I should have started it hours ago. Love that wall, don't you? That convenient bounce wall. Now you could start off with nothing, just uh, onion and garlic. I'm not going to put onion in it. I'm going to skip the onion. Garlic's good enough. And I would normally add a red wine at some point in the cooking process. And all I have is a sweet Riesling, which I don't really want to use. I have used white once, just once. All right, when this gets brown and pretty, you are going to add the tomato, which comes in the form of cans. Yes, it's not fresh. Screw you, I don't have fucking tomatoes. All right, three cans of sauce, two cans of dice is how I go. You could add paste, but I find it doesn't thicken anything, and it usually just adds a bitter taste. So forget that. Put that away. Put that away. Ooh, a little onion powder. I forgot I even had onion powder. Here, if I'm not adding onions, I'll add some onion powder. Don't be afraid to make a mess. Mmm, yes. Now, I put so these are four sausages. Here's an additional six sausages that are just going to be placed in the sauce to cook uh, for the duration. You could crisp them up in the oven if you like a crispy sausage. I particularly don't care if it's crispy or not, so I just throw them in the sauce and they get, you know, three hours. Three hours in a warm bath of tomato. Starting to get apart now. Nice. These are actually good spatulas. Find this spatula. This has to be cleaned. We need all that. That has to be cleaned. Cover the garlic. Right, I need to open cans now, which I'm doing off camera. All right, we're just about ready for some wet works on this. I've got nicely it's broken up into the perfect size little appetizing chunks. Now, usually I will add the dice. If you want to drain the dice, you can just drain a bit of the liquid out of the dice because you're just going to have to evaporate it off anyway. Right. 
And let's just do the dice for now. Again, hours. You've got hours to add things to this. Now we can put the heat back up. See a lot of liquid. There's still a lot of liquid when you use dice. So that's going to come out, which means long simmer times. And you could do it now without adding the rest. Look how much garlic there is. Okay. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hold on. Calm. Calm down. So I'm going to let this get to a simmer. Let it evaporate a bit. And now let's talk cheese. This is my roommate's cheese with the flavor cap. Do not buy Kraft Parmesan cheese. Yes, they make good cheese. This isn't even the stuff that has to be refrigerated. What you want is the, where is it? Where does it say it's made? Imported from Italy. You want the Italian shallow Pecorino Romano. You want Romano, first of all. It's the stronger of the cheese. Parmesan is the pansy cheese. And I'm going to probably use this in the sauce and then put this on top because I know how much this costs, and this costs like $12 a bag. If you can get an actual manual grater and the actual block of cheese, oh, it's so much better. Yes, I'm actually just trying to get rid of this cheese. I need an excuse to use this cheese, so there you go. Let it absorb some of that liquid. Mmm. We'll get it to... Oh, making a mess. The maid doesn't come till ever. You won't burn the cheese. You won't do anything. Just sort of leave it. All right. In about five, six minutes, this should have evaporated nicely, and I'll add the sauce and then the sausages. Yes. Now, keep, keep in mind you've added a lot of cheese to this. At least if you're me, you've added a lot of cheese to this. So it may stick to the bottom. Get in there. Keep it moving. You already see we've reduced down quite a bit of the liquid component of this. And uh, I'm not going to do it now because I can't find it up there. But I have been known to add a small jar of Alfredo sauce to my red sauce. It just, oh. I may add a little milk to blonde it up. I may not. You sort of push, push the solids to the side. Let that liquid come right into the middle, into the hottest part, and evaporate away. It's getting goopy now. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. That's a wrong. All right. I think we're ready for the sauce. Now, I'm just going to add one. Now I'm going to add the sausages. Six sausages. It's two, if there's three people eating, it's two per person. Of course I didn't open that one. Some Japanese hair, hair cutting scissors are the best for the kitchen. Any liquid? No? Good. Don't want to add any goopy, disgusting sausage juice. Push them down a little bit. Don't pierce them. The skins are weak at this point. We've got two more cans of sauce. We're just going to cover them. Now, how many will this serve? Three Italians. Uh, all of the denominations, it'll probably serve five to seven with this amount. See, three Italians with a... Uh, a meal tomorrow. Lower that back down. We don't want this thing bubbling over, making a mess. Oh yeah. Now, dry herbs. He is lacking in the herbs. I've got some thyme, i got some rosemary. I don't want to put rosemary in this. I don't want to put thyme in it either. If you had just straight up Italian seasoning, go for it. Uh, oregano will also work. I don't know what that is. What's that? It says odd. Oregano! Also, don't buy the tomato sauce that has uh, basil in it already. Like the basil flavor. Those are no, never any good, and you have to screw up your whole recipe. Good, 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 good. Just get the uh, get the oregano wet, because it is a, literally a dry leaf, and you don't want it to be hard. Although, lower still. Ideally, you'd leave this uncovered to simmer, so that the steam that comes off, evaporates, goes away, and thickens up. Yeah, let's get it. But I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, salt. Salt to taste. Sometimes I don't add any salt, depending on how I'm feeling. 
If I do add salt, it's always kosher salt. Iodized has a weird taste. So it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, five hours from now, I should scrape the cheese off that. Just keep dirtying forks. In five hours, I'm going to eat. I actually got to run to the store and get macaroni. I only have one pound of macaroni, which I guess for three people is enough, but is it? Oh, Christ! cheese that early in the game may have been a bad choice. You may want to cheese now. Which if you're following my video second by second. Ha ha. It's now 5.30 and I'm looking at a nice thick tomato sauce. It's a tomato. It's a red sauce. Yeah. There's a little bit of grease coming up around the edges from, well, the sausages and the oil I put in at the very beginning. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. It'll just blend in and it'll just taste amazing anyway. I'm just scraping down the sides, making sure nothing is sticking. I'm at like hardly simmer. And in a bit, in a bit, if I wanted to, I could lower this down to like just warm and cover it. Because I don't think it needs to thicken up anymore. But I'm probably not going to. And I have to clean up this mess at some point. Welcome to 10 p.m. Uh, waiting for the neighbor girl to come home. A little imbibe sauce. Now I've had it on low and two, between two and low, and it is now officially the best sauce I've ever made. I know you guys love to hear me eat itself. So. Oh my god. That is world class. I'm going to say that with no ego. A Tori Hanzo. Two pounds of macaroni in the biggest pot I've got, which is a pressure cooker bottom. And, uh, the old fashioned palio ricotta. They don't make this, they don't, they don't sell the old fashioned anywhere but Costco, it seems. Put a big heaping, like, serving spoon of this on top of your plate. Because that's the only way I have it. This was good like three hours ago. Now it's even better.